Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to another episode of New Retro. And on this series we look at a new retro game on an old system and the game that inspired it. And today's games are... Dig Dug was released in the arcades by Namco in 1982. And Dig Dug Revival was released by LC Games in 2023 on the Commodore 64. Welcome to New Retro, episode number 37. So let's first check out the original game. And now on over to the original Dig Dug released by Namco in arcades everywhere. I first played this game back at one of those sleazy 80s pool halls, a place where dodgy neighborhood kids would play pool and smoke, and the rest of us played the random assortment of arcades dotted around the walls of the room. This was the place I played Time Pilot and Dig Dug for the very first time. If you've never played it before, it's an action maze style game. Even though the maze element is you having the freedom to go anywhere, you take the role of Doug, at least that's what his name is in the original English release, although in Japan he's called Taizo Hori, and is the father of the main character in Namco's other digging series, Mr. Driller. In the game, the objective is to dig underground and kill all these weird creatures down there called Pukas and Figars. Once you've murdered them all in classic 80s arcade fashion, it's off to the next level, where things get faster and more enemies are lurking. You are equipped with a pump which you can blast into the creatures and literally pump them up until they explode. Doug is a bit of a legit psycho, I think. The other way of killing them is to drop rocks on their heads. Lining them up to get multi-kills gives bonus points. Once it's down to the last bad guy, he will always make a break for it to escape the level. Let him leave and the level end, or chase after him for bonus killing points. It's a simple game like all arcade games from the golden age period, and ends after 256 levels with an unplayable kill screen. Thanks Namco for that. I love this game back in the arcades, I used to see it everywhere. And even if you visit a modern arcade now, there's a good chance some variation of this game will be there. The graphics were just so vibrant and detailed, and extremely colourful, really catching your eye. And one of my other favourite aspects is the music or sort of music in this game. Yuriko Kaino, who was tasked with making the sound effects for the game, just couldn't get the right sound for walking around underground, so she decided just to apply music to your walking that would continue every time you move. It was a cool idea and actually gives the game a unique rhythm where you don't want to stop moving, therefore interrupting the cool music. The game was designed by Masahisha Ikigami, who also did Namco's Exevious in the same year, and with a little help from Shigeru Yokoyama, the creator of Galaga, which the game also ran on the Namco Galaga arcade board. It was a big hit at the time, with the game becoming the second biggest money making game in Japan that year, only beat by Namco's own pole position for the top spot. Overall it's an extremely fun and addictive game that's easy to get into for anyone and is available on almost every Namco arcade compilation over the last 25 years, so it's very easy to find. Happy digging everybody! And now let's check out the new retro game. Dig Dug Revival was released in summertime 2023 for the Commodore 64 by Luca Carminati of LC Games, another one of his excellent updates of a classic arcade game on the C64. In 1983, one year after the arcade's release, Atari Soft did a conversion of the game to the Commodore 64, and they did a pretty good job at it. And besides the aspect ratio, it's very faithful. Luca has decided that instead of doing a carbon copy, he's done an extremely accurate conversion in terms of graphics and sound, but given the game a twist and the fact that all the levels are now randomly generated, giving the game a bit of a remix style to it, and new levels literally every time you load it up. Everything about this game is still a carbon copy in terms of gameplay and plays extremely smoothly on all fronts, with multiple added options like difficulty settings, and it's both NTSC and PAL compatible, with the PAL version being a little bit slower and the NTSC matching the arcade speed beat for beat. Luca has been doing these impressive arcade remix games on the C64 for a while now, and definitely also check out his excellent Bagman Strikes Back and Tutankham, plus his original games are great as well. The Last Defender and Mark Mech are both available and enjoyable in their own rights. Dig Dug Revival is a nice little complimentary game to the original conversion on the C64, and if you're a fan of that and the arcade game, then this is not to be missed out. And please check out the video description to find the download for the new retro game. Thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. And if you can, please like and subscribe. They'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.